What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are doing the nothing over $10 makeup tutorial. I think sometimes people call this like a makeup challenge, but I don't even think it's a challenge honestly because the drugstore has gotten so much better in the past years and they're coming out with literally amazing products that are under $10. So today every single thing we're going to be using is under 10 bucks. And I think I actually only have like one thing that's actually 10 bucks. Everything is pretty much like $8 and below. And I'm going to show y'all how to slay on a budget and some of my favorite affordable products. Real quick before we jump into the video, I do want to let you guys know that my ColourPop bundle is still available. A couple of the products I'm actually going to be using in today's video are from my bundle. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I got to collaborate with ColourPop to create a favorites bundle of like my favorite everyday essentials from them. I'll pop a picture on the screen here of the bundle for you guys to see. But you get five of my absolute favorite products from ColourPop in there. And then with code Kelly, it's actually only $34.85, I think. So you're basically getting five really great products for under $35. Bucks. And I know for a lot of the first like week and a half, it was out of stock. Because you guys sold that out so, so quickly but as of the time that I am filming this it is in stock on their website so if you want to get it now is the time I just wanted to let you guys know that and of course such a thank you to all of you guys who have already purchased it I literally love seeing all your DMs your pictures your tweets everything it literally just makes me so so happy that you guys are loving the bundle and thank you guys so so much for the support make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started alrighty so first thing we're going to go in with is primer I'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer this is about eight dollars a lot of these products can depend slightly on where you get them just because drugstore prices are not always the same across the board like a lot of times I find like Rite Aid CVS Walgreens those kind of classic drugstores to be a little bit more expensive also Ulta too I would put in a little bit more expensive category but a lot of times they have coupons but without a coupon then I always find like Walmart and Target and stuff to be a little bit cheaper so it really depends where you buy it but it's mostly around $8. I don't think it's over $10 literally anywhere. So I'm just going to focus this right in the areas where I have enlarged pores. It does a really good job of just like smoothing over the skin and creating a really flawless canvas for you to apply your foundation on top of. Because we want to look nice and airbrushed and poreless, right? They do have a new luminous version of this, which I really, really want to try. I tried the matte version and I did like that. But my skin is dry and I'm going to be going in with like a Lumiere foundation. So I'm just using this one today. Up next for foundation, we're going to jump in with the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is the dewy one, and I've really been liking it. I have two shades here, so I have cream beige and golden beige. Not sure which one is going to be, like, the perfect match. I'm going to try golden beige first, then I have cream beige if I need something a little lighter. So I'm going to just apply this on my face. If you guys have tried the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, like the original, it definitely does have a smell to it. Like, it has a scent. This one has a scent as well, but I will say it's better than the original Photo Focus. Like, the original one smells just like paint. I still use it all the time because it's a good foundation. This one does have a scent, but it's not as bad. So, if you were wondering. Um, and I'm going to go in and blend that out with a little Juno & Co. sponge. These are like $6, 6 or $8.00. And they're literally better than the Beauty Blender. Like, I prefer them. I've been using them a lot recently. Um, so, I'm going to go in and blend it all out. Definitely the best affordable blender that I have tried. And now, of course, when I'm blending my foundation, the fire alarm is going off. I don't know why, but like in our town, they actually like ring the fire alarm, like at the fire station or like wherever they do it. Like, do you guys hear that? And like they do it to like alert the firefighters and it's like, okay, like one of my really good friends is a firefighter and they like text them too now, obviously, because it's not like the 1800s where they have to like ring a bell because people don't have phones. So I don't know why they do that, but that th dang thing is always going off. So I apologize if you guys can hear it. The Juno & Club blenders are like fuzzy, like they have like texture to them and I feel like that really helps like the foundation like adhere to the skin better or something, I don't know, but it feels cool. <laughs> this foundation gives a really, really beautiful coverage and such a pretty, pretty glow. I feel like so many dewy foundations aren't really dewy, they're just like more of a natural finish. This one truly is a dewy finish, like it's gonna give a glow to your skin. Up next for concealer, we're going to jump in with the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is the original version, not the new hydrating version. Honestly, I prefer the original. And this is in the shade Light Beige. So I'm going to go in on my under eyes with this. I know a lot of people say that this concealer is too drying for them, which is why they like the hydrating one better. I honestly didn't really feel a difference. Like, it is a little bit drying, this concealer, I'll be honest. But I don't find it to be overly drying, at least not on my under eyes. And I didn't really see a significant difference in like the way it felt on my under eyes with the hydrating one. And I'm going to just balance it out on the center planes of my face as well. Little pro tip if you like to really highlight your under eyes like I do and go in with like a much like it with a significantly lighter shade. You definitely want to balance it out on the rest of your face so it's not just like crazy lightness underneath your eyes and then like nowhere else. Um, so that is why I always go in and like balance out my highlight on the high planes of my face. Just so we're not looking crazy. <laughs> 
And the e.l.f. Camel Concealer is $6. It used to be $5, but they jacked the price up. Um, <laughs> which is honestly, I'm okay with it because it's a really, really good concealer. It is my personal favorite from the drugstore. Um, I really, really enjoy it. I think it's great. And it covers really, really well. And I'm not sure if I said the shade name that I'm using, but I go in with Light Beige. I think I did say it, actually. So go ahead and set my under eyes, and then you go in with the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And I'm just going to use this to set my under eyes, but also to keep that brightness under there. It helps to really brighten them up as well. They have been talking about this being discontinued for like literally forever, but you can still find it pretty readily available online. And I also heard too at Dollar General and Family Dollar, I think, they have like a lot of them, so. Y'all can still get it. I have used this to set my under eyes for like years. And I'm just gonna bring it right on those other areas that we highlighted as well. For all of our powder, we're gonna jump in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is also $8, and it's a really nice, like, loomy setting powder. It's very pretty. So it's gonna help to set the makeup, but also keep that nice luminosity of the foundation that we have on the face. Give us that pretty all-over glow. All right, for our brows, we're gonna jump in with the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This is one of my favorites. This is honestly the best brow pencil from the drugstore, I think. I love it, and I use it all the time. The shade I'm using today is Honey Brown. I use Soft Brown, too, sometimes, which is a little bit darker but I'm all out of soft brown, so honey brown it is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sculpt out my brows with this and just feather them in. And then just doing the same thing on the other side. I've been doing a bit of a darker brow recently. Today I'm using a little bit of a lighter shade, so let me know what you guys think. Like, do you like the lighter brow or do you prefer the darker brow? Let me know in the comments. We're gonna move on to the eyes, and I'm gonna jump into the Amber Eyes Palette. This is from Profusion. I love their palettes. I think they're some of the best affordable palettes. Like, this palette is like eight bucks. You get 12 beautiful shadows, and they all come with a little brush, too. So I highly recommend them. But this is my first time using this one, the Amber Eyes Palette. I've used a bunch of their other palettes, so like they have a bunch of different color stories, like, sort of thing. So hopefully this one is as good as the others. We're about to see right now, but I'm first gonna go in with the shade Likeable right here. And I'm going in with the brush from the palette and just buffing this as a neutral transition shade this is pretty similar to my skin tone so we're not gonna see a lot of this shade but it's still good to have a nice neutral shade down before we go in with deeper shades and I get my profusion products at Walmart although I know they do sell their stuff at some targets because you guys have told me before in the comments my target does not have profusion but apparently some of them do but I get mine at Walmart up next, we're going to jump in with Outgoing, and I'm going to start to build up the crease with this shade. I'm just going in with a fluffy blending brush and blending this into my crease. I've also always been impressed with their palettes. Like, for the price of the palettes, they do blend very easily and stuff, so I can't complain about it. So if this color story doesn't really speak to you, like of this palette, like I said, they do have a ton of other options. And I am kind of blending this a little bit like on the upper part of my crease area. I'm trying to like lift up my eye. I've been doing this a little bit more, like putting the shadow slightly above where my actual natural crease is to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And I think it looks nice just to kind of really open up the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna jump in with a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Dapper right here and put that a little bit more precisely in my crease. This whole eye look actually goes really well with my shirt. I didn't even plan that, but now I'm seeing it. I'm like, ooh, it's like the same color as my sweater. And we are gonna go in and clean this up with like a glitter all over the lid anyways. So I'm just kind of doing this a little bit haphazardly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cause we're gonna clean up the lid anyways. You guys know warm tone neutrals are some of my faves, but I've actually been doing a lot of cool tone looks recently, but it feels good to be back and doing a warm tone one cause it's where my heart is. Now we're going to jump in with Cozy, which is the deepest shade in the palette. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner and outer crease area. I'm just going in with a little bit and then gradually building it up to my liking. Because whenever you work with deeper shades, less is always more. You can always add more, but it's hard to take it off if you put too much on. Without having to take like a makeup wipe to your whole eye. And then I'm going in with Cozy on my lower lash line as well. To smoke everything out and just make sure everything matches up. Now all over the lid, we're gonna go in with the shade Excited, and I'm gonna pack that on my lid with a flat top brush, although we are gonna be going in with liquid glitter, but I wanna put this down first. I love a pretty gold all over the lid, and I'm kind of using this to begin to sculpt out that crease and like my lid area so that we know where to go when we use the glitter. And then just doing the same thing on the other eye. And as I get closer to that deeper shade in the outer corner, I'm just kind of packing it 
much lighter. So we still have that depth, but everything blends. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Chatty to highlight. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. This one is a little bit more like pink undertoned. And then right beneath the brow bone as well. Just to really make that pop. All right, now on top, we're gonna jump in with this eye glisten. This is from Makeup Revolution, and the shade on this is It's Fate. So it has like a cream shadow side and a glitter side, so I'm gonna go in with the glitter. And I'm just gonna put this right on top to really amp up the eye look. A little sparkle never hurts. And what I like about this one is that it doesn't crease and crack. A lot of like drugstore eye glitters can get like really creasy and stuff. This one I have not had that experience with. And it dries pretty quickly as well. Okay, up next for liner, we're going to pop in with the e.l.f. H2O Proof Liquid Liner Pen. And I'm just going to line my lid. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I feel like we have a lot going on on the <laughs> lids already. So I'm just going to line them so that we can prep them for lashes. Then we don't see the lash band. This is a really nice liner, though. It's definitely one of my go-tos. For lashes, I'm going to pop in with the Bay Lashes. These are new from ColourPop. They are so, so beautiful. All right, going to just go in and pop these bad boys on. I did cut them a little. They are super long, um, but if you have big eyes, it's good because they're going to fit you. And if you have a little bit of smaller eyes, then you can just cut them a little bit. I just trimmed them a tiny bit because I hate when my lashes are like too long and then they poke me. Ooh, the worst. And then just popping on the other eye as well. And if you guys are wondering, these lashes are $8, I believe. So they're really affordable, but really, really pretty. Also, if you guys know any lash growth serums, leave them down below in the comments. I've had lash extensions on, on and off, and I've definitely noticed that my natural lashes are shorter now, which makes me so sad. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations for like some growth serums down below. In my waterline, I'm gonna jump in with the ColourPop White Liner. You guys know this is my favorite. It is in my bundle. This is like literally the best white liner on the market. Like no joke. It's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. And it's my fave. And it also does not budge throughout the day, which is great. For my lashes, I'm going to jump in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. This is the Uncensored Exhibitionist Mascara. And I'm going to just pop this on my lower lashes and then blend my upper lashes in with the falsies with it. Gotta blend the natural lashes in with the falsies. One time, oh my gosh, I was at a photo shoot. This is a while ago, like years ago. Um, but it was like one of the first times I ever did a photo shoot like with a brand. And I did my own makeup. And I forgot to do this. And you could like see it in all the pictures. Like you could see the difference between the falsies and my natural lashes. And I forgot to go over it with mascara. I think I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. So I never forgot again. It was, it's like one of those things where like I could tell. But I really don't think that anyone else would have ever been able to tell. Like because I was like really zooming in on my eye to see. But I was like, oh my god. Alrighty. For our face, we're going to go all over with the Rimmel Sun Bronzer. They literally have like so many of these they're always like three or four bucks and they're huge i've had this for a long time and i probably will never hit pan because it's literally so big so i'm going to just go in with this to bronze up my face this does have some shimmer to it so i'm not going in with this like to contour we're going to go in with like a matte bronzer to contour and the matte bronzer we are going to go in with is from koki i've really been liking their bronzers and they're of course super affordable so i'm going to go in and sculpt out my cheeks with this and we're going to sculpt out our nose too and just going to contour the sides of my nose. For our blush, we're gonna pop in with Between the Sheets from ColourPop. This is also part of my bundle, but separately it is under $10. And I'm gonna pop this on my cheeks. I love this shade, so, so pretty. I'm gonna put a little on my nose too. And then for my highlight, also for my bundle, we're gonna go in with Flexitarian from ColourPop. This is the most pretty blinding highlight. You guys know I love to glow. I'm going to bring it on my nose and above my cupid's bow. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this and pop it beneath the brow bone too, just to really amp that up a little bit. Yes. Why not put it in the inner corner? <laughs> Might as well just bathe it in at this point, but I love this. Oh. Okay, and then last but not least for our lips, I'm going to go in and line them with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Nude. So I'm just going to go in and line. This is like the perfect nude lip liner shade. I love this. I've used it for years. I really like NYX's lip liners. They have like pretty much every color under the sun. For my lipstick, I'm going to go in with the new Revlon Matte Lipstick in Untold Stories. This is the perfect nude. Ooh, I live for this. And it's matte, but it's not drying to the lips. It's a really nice finish. And then for gloss, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss in the shade Rose Quartz. And just top it. With this pretty pink 
And there you have it y'all, completed look, nothing over $10, everything super affordable but still a really, really beautiful look. You do not need to spend a lot of money to slay. You can do even the most pretty glam looks with super affordable products. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!